it is Python on hardware time. Blinka, blinka, blinka. Blinka, blinka, blinka. Okay, like every week, I try to pick out a few things from the newsletter, and then okay. I have something I focus on. Um, this is kind of neat. Blues Wireless Swan, a powerful circuit Python compatible board in a feather form factor. I showed this as like breaking news last week, but one of the things I thought that was kind of neat, um, Andrew noticed, he said, Adafruit, wondering if you caught Ray Ozzy, the CEO of Blues Wireless, showing off his new feather board at Edge Impulse Imagine Conference. It can run circuit Python too. Yay. That's pretty neat. That's right. They did a PR to add support for this chip, which is so yeah. awesome. Thank you, folks. Yeah, so I mentioned this, I think, in a past show. Um, but I also want to mention something. So when MOSFET, our cat, passed away, um, Ray Ozzy donated money to um, the cat shelter that Lady Ada got MOSFET from. Yeah. And uh, he got his cat from the same shelter. And we were we were uh, exchanging emails, and you know, it, I know it's silly, but it meant a lot because it was like devastating. And the fact that I miss MOSFET. The, the fact that someone I mentioned MOSFET today. I was I yeah, refer, I like, referred to ten, about him every day. a ten pound weight. I was like, that's one MOSFET. Yeah, <laughs> that's how we measure things. Anyways. Um, and, they all, and now Ray is the CEO of uh, this electronics company, and they're doing Feather stuff, and it has CircuitPython. So anyways, um, you know, maybe check it out, if you like cats. <laughs> anyways, um, the Raspberry Pi released a new data sheet, the RP2040 data sheet. It is gigantic, so check it out. It has everything. Uh, next week, a Lovelace Day. I'm going to show some of this video. We did a virtual factory tour. Um, so stick around for the show tonight and you'll see the rest of it. Um, I thought this was neat. Python 3.10. They had a release party and they're starting to do these cool. 3.10. Sorry, 3. Point, yeah, 10. Oops. Um, they're starting to do these cool graphics where it has like some of the stuff that has something to do with. The, I think this is cool. I think we yeah. should have like tattoos, like temporary tattoos for release. Yeah, like we did. We candidates. have a poster and I'll talk about that for each each thing that we do. Um, the Halloween Hackfest with uh, DigiKey and Hackaday and Adafruit. Um, that's still going on. And it's Open Hardware Month. Talk about that again. Make sent out a big old thing, getting started with Python on hardware. And uh, this is kind of neat. Teaching Python podcast made this uh, CircuitPython era bingo card. So if you are uh, learning a programming language and you get an error, normally it's just like, oh, no, I am the worst. I can't believe this is happening to me. Um, the uh, the folks uh, over at Teaching Python podcast decided to make it into a fun game, and I think that's the way to do it. If we can normalize making mistakes, it'd be way better than the alternative. Um, and then uh, you know, catch out the rest of the odds and ends. I think there was one more thing I wanted to show. Oh yeah, the Pico system. It's a pocket-sized handheld console built around Raspberry Pi RP2040. It uses things like C++ and MicroPython, and of course, CircuitPython. Um, and so that is uh, the newsletter news. And then um, speaking of, of launch graphics, so the Python 3.1.0 um, graphic thing is there. We, we have friendly snakes. We have, our, we have the great merge poster. So seven, CircuitPython 7, it's out now. And we wanted to like show that MicroPython and CircuitPython are um, on a collision course together. And now they're, they're like one snake. One snake absorbed the other snake. So it's, it's one. It's one snake. So a lot of the MicroPython stuff is uh, now in CircuitPython. Next up, but this video from Jepler, we have a cool camera thing. Hi, Jeff here. I've been working on supporting another camera module in Adafruit CircuitPython. This time it's the OV5640. I had to put it on a long extension cable to get the shot I wanted of the LCD. And that's what's leading to the glitches that you're seeing um, here in the video. What's working is RGB, YUV, and grayscale capture, and of course display to LCD. You can also control the saturation level and turn on special effects such as sepia, negative, and test pattern. Next up is implementing JPEG image capture at a startling five megapixels. Uh, the library will be added to the CircuitPython bundle when it's ready. See you around. Okay. And then uh, there was a question, is there a name for this snake hydra? No, in fact, I tried to find out if there was There's a name. There's not a snake hydra. There's two snakes. Yeah, but they're kind of like. Oh, the MicroPython snake? Yeah, well, so. I don't think it's called the MicroPython snake. Yeah, there, so I asked Damien, and he said, there's no name for it. And we redrew the, the snake form because he didn't, I think he had the artwork, so he made one for him. Um, I don't There's know. There's two snakes. Yeah. There's Blinka and the MicroPython snake. Yeah, but they're kind of like 
Like maybe. But no, 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 they're not. Know. If you look carefully, they. they no, I know, out. but it, but it looks like it could be a okay. two-headed snake, and that I, happens in nature quite a bit. Uh, um, at least more than maybe other types of animals. Okay. Um, anyways, so back to the camera stuff. So here's more um, photos from the camera. JPEG photos, like ch testing out some different JPEG modes. Yeah, and I think not this such a bad, not bad. This is a, a very low cost, couple dollar um, camera module, and it works quite well. Yeah, I think. Um, I think it'll be neat when you're able to build your own DIY camera. Yeah. Anyways. And that is uh, Python Hardware News this week. Okie dokie.